Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Ninja 12 cup coffee maker, model number CE251. This is the one you get from Amazon. I've already done a video on the one you get from Walmart. It's model number CE200. I don't think there's that much difference between the two. So they both are retailing for about $80 right now. But I think Walmart and Amazon give them both different model numbers and they change things just slightly, like this is black on the Walmart one, just so you can't do a, a price comparison between the two. But they're, I think they're the exact same coffee makers. Now the reason I'm doing this video is there have been a lot of, I've seen a lot of news articles coming out with the best coffee makers for 2022 and even 2021. This Ninja is always really highly rated. So I, I wanted to buy the one off of Amazon and see if there was any difference between it and the Walmart one. I don't see any difference. So on Amazon's best selling coffee makers, this one is at number nine right now. I have seen it as high. I think I've seen it number two, maybe even number three. This list kind of changes quite a bit, but it does have 20,000 reviews on Amazon. Now in my video, I'm gonna talk about the coffee maker, but I am gonna brew a pot of coffee and do the temperature checks. And I think that that's where this coffee maker shines. It maintains around a 200 degree brew temperature up at the top that's brewing into the coffee grounds. And you get almost a 200, 198 degree coffee coming out of the bottom. And I ended up with a 180 degree cup of coffee. That's very hot. I've not seen many coffee makers maintain that type of temperature. That's like Mocha Master uh, temperature. And I do think this coffee maker looks really nice. And I also like to feature the stay warm. So I get a lot of comments on the warming plates that people want to be able to turn their warming plate on. Say this thing shuts off after two hours, but they come back and want to pot, want to warm that up. This has a separate switch that you can turn that warming plate on even after the brew is done. You can also program that warming plate to stay on from zero to up to four hours. But if it does shut off on you, you can turn it on automatically. I like that the water reservoir is removable. You can take it over to your sink, use a brush. You can really clean it out good. Highlights the craft. It pours really nice, really fast. I think this whole basket area, the brew head, I noticed I was opening the brew head during the brew. Water does seem to come out most of those ports. This is a really nice brew basket. You can even see it kind of leaves an indentation in the coffee where the water's coming out. It doesn't overflow. The filter basket, it only came up to about there, so it's not coming out so fast that it's overflowing the filter basket. You can use a number four cone filter in it also. You do get a little bit of sediment with this reusable filter. I really like this coffee maker. I've got other videos on how to set the delay brew. I've even got a video how to program the auto shutoff for the warming plate. I also have a, a clean how to descale this. So it does have a light that shows you when it's time to descale. I've got a whole nother separate video on how to descale this coffee maker with vinegar. So I, I probably need to get my Mocha Master out and do a comparison because that cup of coffee, again, I am not a coffee expert. I have to mix uh, cream and sugar with mine to get the flavors of the coffee to really shine for me, but it makes a really smooth tasting cup of coffee. And I think it has a lot to do with that temperature. And there's even a little bit of a pause. It's a little hard to discern. There is a little bit of a pause when it first starts to brew and kind of lets that coffee bloom a little bit. And it's a really quiet coffee maker. This is one of the quietest coffee makers I've, I've reviewed. You do get a lot of steam out the top towards the end. The last minute, um, you get a lot, a lot of steam, which is, a, that's about normal. But during the brew process, very quiet. It does have four small beeps to let you know when it's done. So unfortunately there is not a way to turn those beeps off, but it, my dog was not bothered by them. They are very low. I've had some Cuisinarts that the beeps are really loud and my dog gets a little bothered by them, but these beeps, um, my dog was not bothered by them. Miss Fiona's been out in the rain, but she knows it's treat time. Okay, so I definitely know why this is getting really high reviews. Um, it, it's just a really nice coffee maker. It's a standard coffee maker. It doesn't have any of the other extra bells and whistles. It doesn't have a milk frother. It doesn't have any of that. It's just a standard 12 cup programmable coffee maker. I'm first gonna talk and show you the coffee maker. Then I'm actually gonna make a pot of coffee, do some temperature checks, see how long it takes and do a taste test. 
So this coffee maker has a glass carafe. It also has a warming plate that's gonna keep your coffee warm. Here we've got a lid that comes off. It's got this tube. The coffee's gonna go down to help mix up in the carafe. Up top, this is where the coffee filter is. So it comes with this gold tone reusable filter, but you can also use a number four cone filter, paper. This filter basket comes out. It's got that spring in the bottom so that when you take the craft out during the brew, it does stop the brew process for a little bit. So again, I can use a number four cone filter or this reusable filter. I should not use both of them at the same time. You will get a little bit of sediment in your coffee with the reusable, but you won't with a paper filter. And if you're using a paper filter, you're just going to open it up and kind of smash it in there and put the coffee right there. Here's what the brew head looks like. Over here, we've got our water reservoir. It's got a lid that comes off. We've got this nice handle. I like that the water reservoir is removable. That makes you can take this over to the sink and give it a good cleaning. It's got these lines on to show how much we're going to brew. So let's talk about the control panel. It's got a power button. So you're going to turn the power on. The clock is kind of like a dim, but it's easy to read. When you turn the power on, it starts brighter. It has delay brew. But what an, another nice feature about this is you can turn the warming plate on manually. Not many coffee makers let you do that. But the, the warming plate can, will stay on from zero to four hours, and you can adjust that by holding that button and setting how long the warming plate stays on after your brew. You can do a small batch. That's if you're going to brew just one to four cups or, or four cups. Classic is just a normal brew. You can also do a rich. It kind of prolongs the brewing process. And then the brew button, that's when you're ready to brew. You just start the brew right now. It also has a clean light and a button. So the clean light's going to come on to let you know when it's time to descale it. And then you're going to put vinegar in it and press that to start the descaling process. So it is kind of a tall coffee maker. It's right around 20 and 3 quarters inches tall. So it will not fit under, fit under most kitchen cabinets. Left to right, you're almost 10 inches. Front to back, you're about 8 inches. It does have this nice scoop, and I like that it has a holder for the scoop. And then here's what the back of it looks like. It has a two-prong cord outlet. Okay, so I'm going to use the reusable filter. Now the scoop is equivalent to one tablespoon. So if you lose this scoop, just use a tablespoon. But we're going to put one tablespoon or one scoop for every cup we're going to brew. I'm going to brew the full 12 cups of coffee. So I'm going to put 12 tablespoons of coffee right in here. Okay, so I've got my 12 tablespoons of coffee in. I filled the reservoir up now. When you press the brew button, it brews whatever amount of water you have in here. So if you only want six cups in your craft, just fill it up to the six mark and put six tablespoons of coffee in. Eight, fill it up to eight, put eight tablespoons. Even if you do the small batch, so say I want to do a small batch, but I fill it up to the 12 mark, it's still going to brew full 12 cups. So when you want to do just four cups and do the small batch button, you still have to fill the reservoir up to the four mark only. Okay, so I'm going to do a classic brew, and you just start the brew, hit the brew button. So we're going to time it. We're going to do some temperature checks along the way. We'll see what our final cup of coffee is and do a taste test. So you know it's brewing because that light there is on and it's kind of pulsing on and off. So it starts brewing right away. So it does brew for just a little bit and there's just an ever slightly pause and then it continues to brew. That's kind of letting that coffee bloom a little bit. And also when you start the brew, that light pulses, but the red light on the stay warm comes on. That's to let you know that the heat, the warming plate is on also. Okay, so it's been almost, it's a little over seven minutes. We've got about four cups left to go. The coffee coming out the bottom is about 197. That's really hot. And so the water is about 200 degrees that's brewing the coffee up the top. We can kind of take a sneak peek. It's a very quiet coffee maker while it's brewing coffee. Okay, so it's been almost 11 minutes. We're just finishing up. It does get a little noisy towards the end of the brew and you get quite a bit of steam coming off the top. Okay, so it took about between 11 and 12 minutes to, to complete that full 12 cup. That's pretty fast. So 
So it does beep at you four small beeps to let you know that it's done brewing. The brew light goes out, but the stay warm light stays on. And again, that's the warming plate, which will stay on between zero to four hours, depending on how long you set it. It will, the default is two hours. So after two hours, the warming plate will shut off. But the nice thing about this one is, is if you want to turn that warming plate back on, you can just hit that button. Okay, so let's see how the craft pours. It's got a very nice handle, big opening. Yeah, it pours fast, but it pours really good. Let's see how hot a cup of coffee we end up with. 180. That's one of the hottest cup of coffees um, I've seen come out of a coffee maker. That is very hot, so be careful. Here's what the coffee looks like. Now, earlier I had a pot out of here. I do have to add cream and sugar to my coffee. I'm not a coffee taste expert by no means, but it does make a really good cup of coffee. And again, we can see it, whatever amount of water it was in here, it brewed that entire amount. Let's go up here and see how it did. There's the coffee grounds. Be careful, this will be really hot. But it's got a nice handle that you can take out. And even the filter basket has a nice handle. It has the word Ninja on it, but you can take that out. These parts are dishwasher safe, top rack only. This is a very nice coffee maker. I think it looks really nice, has a nice appearance, but the most important part is it does make a great cup of coffee. Hope the video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.